Tell me all about the four red walls. Tell me all about the four red walls. And all about the photographs that line you draw. Tell me all about the four red walls. Tell me all about the four red walls. And all about the photographs that line you draw. Tell me all about the four red walls. Tell me all about the four red walls. And all about the photographs that line you draw. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photographs that line you draw. Tell me all about the four red walls. Tell me all about the four red walls, and all about the photographs that line you draw. Tell me all about the four red walls. Tell me all about the four red walls, and all about the photographs that line you draw. Tell me all about the four red walls. Tell me all about the four red walls. And all about the photographs that line you draw. Tell me all about it. And all about the photos. Tell me all about it. And all about the photos. Tell me all about it. And all about the photos. Tell me all about it. And all about the photos. Tell me all about it. And all about the photos. Tell me all about it. And all about the photos. Tell me all about it. And all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. Tell me all about it, and all about the photos. That line you draw. It's been a long time since I did a work in progress video, so if you want to see more of those, let me know because I had a lot of fun doing it. This piece was actually for a group show at Good Space in Sydney. It was their second birthday, so I did a piece for that. I thought it'd be fun to film. Let me know what you think. I had a lot of fun. It's been a while since I've actually painted as well, just because of my book and stuff. Um, Q&A time? Go! The box that looks like a metallic stackable stairs. Lol, where you keep your colour pencils. Where did you get it? It's so cool. A lot of people have been asking about my pencil box. In case you forgot, this is what it looks like. I separate it for like oranges and yellows, purples and pinks, reds and browns greens and turquoises and blues it's really really handy it's just really really heavy but unfortunately this isn't something you can just buy online or at a store because it is a vintage first aid kit <laughs> it's not very practical for bringing you around because it's so heavy but I love just being able to know where my colors are and have it in a compact space because I already have so many jars of things I got this from a vintage store in Newtown I they may have had more what do you think? No. There's just one. One of a kind. Yeah. When we bought it, they had all of the bandages inside. They even had some like serums and like tonics. A lot of people were asking where I got my watercolor sketchbook. And this to me is like very particular because I don't like watercolor sketchbooks at all, ever. Not even the Moleskine ones. They're pretty annoying. I'll show you. If I can find it. Uh-oh. The scaredy This is basically the only watercolor sketchbook I'll use. I don't really like using watercolor sketchbooks because the paper is never as good quality as the paper that I buy for my paintings. I've tried the Moleskine one. It's pretty bad in my opinion. It doesn't react the way I want it to. I'm just not used to that kind of paper. This one's by Strathmore. I'll leave a link below to it. Bought this in America when we were there for our road trip. So I've n I'd never heard of the brand, but I like the feeling of the cover. It's really silky and the paper is really thick and nice and it takes water well. So this is the one that I use on the go. Everything else is done on like fresh sheets of watercolor paper. So a lot of people have also been asking where I got my yellow pencil case. Do you want to chuck it to me? I think it's behind you, sweetheart. Thank you, stagehand. Ooh. Okay, this little thing is by Delphonics. It's an awesome utility pouch for carrying tools. It's made of cotton, 15 pockets, 265 by 184 by 65 millimeters. Delphonics. You can probably find them if you Google them online. I got this one in Osaka, I think. Was it, honey? Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was because... 
I remember doing a whole video, cut to whole video, pew, 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 of um, things that I got in Osaka, and this was one of them. But you can get this anywhere. They have they sell these pouches in Australia. I haven't seen a yellow one. This is why I was so excited when I got this one. We're in Japan, but I'm sure you can find them online. I also have a blue one right here. It's funny how everything's just around me. It wasn't planned like this. This is my original pencil case that I had. Here's a size comparison. Juno asked, I aspire to be an illustrator one day, but I'm kind of scared because I have no idea how about how everything works. You went to art school, didn't you? After that, how did you start your business? Is it mainly a social media? Do you get commissions or do you sell stuff from your store? Also, how did you get yourself out there? Okay, this is a really big question. I might do like a separate video for it to, to answer everything really quickly. Yes, I went and studied visual art and design. After that, I was doing digital design. I worked in an agency, but... Even from high school, I was doing commissions and putting my work on the internet, sharing and like networking and all that stuff. So I think the key is just to continue to do that regardless of if you're at university or not. Like don't let university be an excuse for you to be complacent because I just feel like when you get out of uni and you apply for jobs, if your portfolio is the same as everyone else's because you've done the same assignments, it's not going to stand out even if the work's good. Like, I think something that's more valuable than even skill set, because skills are something that can be learnt, is passion and drive. So, you can show that by actually just working outside of an institutional setting. I'll do a separate video on that to answer it in a, a little bit better. Can you film a video about all of your art materials that you use? I will do that as well, um, but for now I have a blog post that's like an extensive list of all the things I used, like, a year and a half ago. So I'll do an updated version, but for now that can be like a little guide for you because some of the stuff is the same. From now on, we're going to do a hashtag on Twitter and if on Instagram if you want to. I don't know how that's going to work, but a hashtag for asking me questions because it's just getting hard to look through the comments and find questions that I want to choose. So that would just make it easier for me. I'll still read the comments, obviously, but if you want to ask me a question for the end of the next vlog, then let me know via this hashtag. Ding. Tell me all about it, and all about the photographs that line you draw. Thanks for watching!